All right, so today I'm going to do a uh, kind of a, a tool um, a toolbox tour. So let me move this out the way. So in the top, I have um, long rulers, um, some levels, um, a speed square, a couple pairs of gloves. Um, I got these from Harbor Freight. They're fiberglass wire running kit. Um, it'll help you run wire. Um, I have two different sizes. And then I have my two jack stand handles, my floor jack handles. Show off some of the stickers. Duke small engines. I got a bunch of them right here. Twisted R Racing. Scott Pearson's. Another Duke's. I got the skull from uh, Justin or Captain Jerk. Uh, David Johnson. Tractor. Um, most of them are small engine nation stickers, but that's the top drawer or the top for the lid. Uh, JK canvas up there in the top left and top right top drawer of the 56 inch is the Whenever I decide to use these these came with the toolboxes for the, the trim So you can label them. I got saw blades up here for my circular saw. I have um, a buffing blade for my bench grinder and some more buffing style uh, wheels for my bench grinder large pack of scissors um some buffing compound which these two right here need to go in there uh second long drawer is a lot of the kits that i got from walmart these little precision kits that you can get these three right here for 10 bucks during christmas time and then these are $10 a piece, and this was $10, and I bought this one for like $15. But I use these a lot. Um, other measuring devices. Another style speed square. Uh, levels. Uh, and then this side is my watch repair stuff. Hammers, and then removers. And then this is a precision um knife set uh, and then this is also for watches uh little precision um electronic screwdriver some precision screwdrivers some smaller screwdrivers This drawer has uh, extension bar impacts, torque limiting impacts. It's got a lot of uh, U-clamps, um, a bunch of picks, different style picks. Um, this drawer has my regulators for my uh, compressors. Um, a very old Milwaukee drill. I think this drill is about 30 years old. Um, my dad gave me that. Two um, bit kits. They're both Ryobi's. This one's the original. This is the new um, a soldering gun. A cheap one from Harbor Freight. Uh, Chicago electric power tools. This is a um, heat gun that I got from Harbor Freight a um, flashlight, some extra husky boxes, organizer boxes, and a bunch of um, utility knife blades. Uh, this drawer at the top is all of my um, interior pry tools. Uh, stuff for, you know, dashboards. You know, these are for scraping gaskets off of differentials. Uh, <clears throat> that kind of stuff 
this is my grinding drawer. I have a lot of some wire wheels, a lot of flap discs and cut off discs, abrasive discs. Uh, this is um, my pneumatic for my pneumatic hammer. Uh, this is a regulator for a propane tank. These are for removing fuel lines and other lines. I got some <clears throat> plumber's tape for my air tools. The next drawer down is actually all, not all of my air tools, but some of them. Some camel house fields, a few earthquakes, um, a large three quarter inch earthquake there, <coughs> Craftsman slide hammer, um, air hammer, camel house filled air hammer, extra quick chucks. the next toolbox the largest drawer is sockets which when I uh, when I eventually get socket organizers which I don't have any all this will be taking up less space in the drawer because they're just all laying in here right now um, when I can get some socket organizers then <clears throat> all these will be taken off these plastic cases and they'll be put on actual socket organizers, which will leave me more space in the drawer. Some of my magnets are in here. Uh, these are pass-through sets from Husky. Uh, Universal. Um, six point, six point. And then this box is actually full of sockets. I just need organizers and I'll ta eventually take it out of there. And then a lot of my three quarter sockets. You know, these are just the only actual organizers I had at the moment. This one immediately to the left is all ratchets, which I'll be doing some video on these ratchets soon. Um, I got a bunch of uh, Steelman ratchets from eBay. Um, so I'll be doing a video when I get all of them in. in. Next one down is extensions and other specialty sockets like these are spark plug sockets and these are swivels and uh, I'll take them out of their boxes when I have room to put them in the main drawer. This one is all measurement, utility knives, punch, punches, um, uh, spark plug gappers. Uh, basically specialties. This bottom one right here is, this is a Campbell Hausfield paint kit. It's got a couple different um, gravity feed painters in it. This is my earthquake. 20 volt lithium 3 8 this one is the half inch uh, impact the other one's the 3 8 impact this one is wrenches which you can see that I need a wrench organizer because these set these kits are bulky this one's from uh, Harbor Freight this one is is the gear wrench 32 piece I use these a lot they're actually ratcheting Uh, I got this from Napa for like 80 bucks. Some adjustable pliers, which I consider them a type of wrench. So I put them in the wrench drawer. And then I have two large sets of bits um, for bit drivers, but I have no place to put them because my bit drawer is full. So I put them in here for now. Some... Uh, normal drivers which I'll find a place for them later the next drawer is pliers snap ring pliers these are all Napa from Napa uh, picks the picks don't belong in here but I put them in here for now these are a new pair I just got today 
some Knepex 10 um, inch Cobra pliers. I got any kind of plier you can think of, you know, channel lock style, um, oil filter wrench style, needle nose 90 degrees long, shorts, um, nippers, uh, these really nice pliers I got from Craftsman a while back. They're double jointed, so they open wider. I have those also in a 90 degree. But, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of pliers in here, which I don't think this drawer is going to change. I think I'll just start stacking the pliers on top of other pliers. This one is pry bars, torque wrenches, breaker bars. These are all breaker bars. And this is a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh. This this one is a Pittsburgh, and this one is, I believe, a Pittsburgh. This is a Carlisle from Napa. This is a Pittsburgh, this three-quarter inch with the locking in the back. That one's a... I needed another three-quarter inch breaker bar, so I bought one from Harbor Freight. This is my Snap-on. Old-style torque wrench. Been well used. It's in great condition, though. Um, long extensions, uh, half inch and three eighths. Um, this is a kit I just just got off eBay. I'll be doing a thing on it. It's a Weira 1,000 volt um, screwdriver kit. Um, Pittsburgh pry bars. A couple Craftsman pry bars. The Craftsmans, I bought them because they have the strikers caps. Um, and one air tool because it doesn't fit anywhere else. And then my uh, my belt tensioning tools in here too for changing serpentine belts. The next one down is um, jaw pullers. Piston ring compressor, uh, three and two jaw pullers, a respirator, a regular face mask. I bought this. Somebody was selling this. He just he needed money really badly. I was at a gas station. He showed me what he had. I bought everything in the back of his truck for like 40 bucks. Got him gas and food. And these are all, you know pipe connections and uh, a lot of, I put a lot of air tool, um, quarter inch spigots in here, but there's all kinds of different things. I've used probably about 20% of what was in this box when I got it from him. Um, so I put it in this drawer. Uh, another magnet. This is, all the stuff in this is to my 2005 uh, excursion parts that I'd removed off the truck I didn't want to lose them so I left them there and I bought another one of them and then these are both files which I really like these hyper tough files they're both hyper tough they're both really great uh, the next one down is the largest in the toolbox it's got my porter cable seven and a quarter inch one and a quarter inch um, circular saw my rat, uh, earthquake 12 volt ratchet, my half inch impact, my Bosch um, drill, or a Bosch sticks um, drill and impactor kit. And then it's got my um, Bosch angle grinder and the new Harbor Freight earthquake angle grinder that I had done a demonstration on a couple days ago. The next one, this corner is all the sockets I use absolutely the most and instead of putting them in the main drawer I just left them in this tray to make my life a little easier some allen wrenches um, these go to my uh, snap ring pliers the cheap ones I have this one is all my bits and bit drivers so that's 
I haven't seen these in a while. It's a snap-on bit driver. The actual bit comes out. Uh, I don't even think you can find these anymore, but they actually rotate to the left and the right. I bought this from Walmart. It's served me well, quarter inch, 3 16 It's a multi-tool for sockets. I thought it was neat. My cobalt, which I need to repair, it's, it's broken. Um, a bunch of bits, speed outs, long, you know, wobblies. Uh, some other socket style bits, regular screwdriver bits, and three drill bits that I, I bought that I never ended up needing to use. Uh, screwdriver drawer. Got lots of screwdrivers in here. I have some old, old style Craftsman's in here. Oh, this one's actually not a Craftsman, it's a Stanley. I have the, the cheap like 20 piece set from Harbor Freight with the green and the blue and the red handles. I also have the nice Quinn set from Harbor Freight, which I like the Quinns a lot. The next drawer down is uh, vice grips. You know, the chains on them for hose clamp pliers, woodworking, needle nose long needle nose vice grips or vice grips no matter what brand they are my extra wrenches my large wrenches and some of my little ones when the wrench drawer gets cleaned up then i'll move these to the wrench drawer and this drawer will be utilized for something else hammers which i don't have all of my hammers these are just a few of my hammers and a specialty uh, 47 millimeter fan clutch wrench which that should be in the wrench drawer, but well, it doesn't fit. Next one is air tools, you know, <coughs> for, you know, airing up tires, you know, blow guns, stuff like that. The very bottom drawer is my extra gloves. Um, these are my computer gloves. These are my, the box got destroyed, so I just put them in a bag. And these are some other paint stuff. All this has um, paint guns in it. It's not Dremel anymore. And then, you know, some lag bolts for concrete. Brick. You know, and then you come over here. In this orange toolbox is This got turned into my diagnostic cart, which I need to find a place for all the papers. I'll just move them for now. Large zip ties, 12 inch caliper, a couple six, uh, six inch calipers, a wide mouth six inch long reach caliper. This is my Bosch stick. They're not Bosch stick, but my Bosch scan tool. Got this from O'Reilly's. I think if I remember correctly, it was like 300. And I think it was like 260 because it was originally 400 something dollars. I got a discount uh, because of my military discounts. So I got it like almost 200 bucks off. <laughs> Leave that in the top, you know. Shrink wrap. I got this from Harbor Freight. It's a Schneider um, soldering gun, a butane soldering gun, and a heat gun. It works pretty well. Extra electrical tape. Bunch of heat shrink connectors, which all of these are heat shrink. Which I go to Harbor Freight because they work great. And then, you know, terminal sets. 
for quick terminals. Uh, my wife's pair of gloves. I got her some Harbor Freight gloves because, you know, she doesn't need the $30 mechanic gloves. Top drawer to the left is my uh, diagnostic multimeters. Um, a, a light meter, a sound meter, a, um, a voltage meter for um, finding out if you, you actually have power to an outlet. Um, I'll do a review on this later circuit detector. You can set this up and you can actually plug this into a specific outlet, this piece. And then you can go to the breaker box and you can push this button when you have batteries in it and you can run it down all the breakers and it will beep when you find the correct breaker. Um, next one down is basically just quick terminals I bought recently. Um, some fuses, a, uh, a brake bleeder gauge. No, that needs to go back with the brake bleeder. The next drawer over is, there's all my receipts for all the stuff I've bought recently. I have a couple barbecue um, thermometers in here. This one has an actual readout. This one doesn't. Um, I use these for diagnostics to you know, find out how cold the AC or the heat or how hot the heat is on inside of a vehicle. But, you know, they're easy to find if I need to use them for my barbecue. Uh, a bunch of test lights. I have my um, Bosch. Timing light, some more test lights, um, extensions, stuff like that, a, uh, a kilowatt P3 tester if you want to test a device so you find out what wattage it's taking, stuff like that. Next drawer is my... Uh, some of my welding gloves, I have not <clears throat> used them yet other than the brown ones. I've used the brown ones. Uh, a scope, a listening scope, orthoscope, or whatever the hell you call it. I'm not really sure what the name of it is. I don't remember. It's got a, a metal needle. You hook it up, touch you know a piece of metal with it, you know, trying to find out what where the noise is coming from. A Bosch scope. Um, my electrical pliers, my wire crimpers, stuff like that. Next drawer down is a couple, uh, another scan tool, a launch scan tool, and my master combo kit for my uh, Power Probe 4 uh, is in here. And then down here I have a tripod for... Uh, orange tripod for my uh, thousand watt um, light and this box right here is um, all my electrical connectors and wiring and stuff like that and then zip ties another extra box of gloves more zip ties and then if I come over here on the side of the toolbox I have the paper towel roll I have the two uh, uh, can holder. It's holding butane and two flashlights right now, and then you know holds screwdrivers right here. A glove holder, and then uh, another tray that holds screwdrivers or whatever you want. I put my Loctite and my antifreeze and or anti seize and some Permatex, black Permatex and dielectric grease in here. I have a couple chargers up here. Um, all of my uh, Pittsburgh, you know, free six inch and four inch uh, magnetic trays. Turn the light on. It'll be easier to see. There you go. My security, my ADT security system, I leave it up here. Um, and this power strip, I did a video on it. I went to Walmart, got a couple different power strips. That's what, what that went to. The toolbox didn't come with a power strip, and I made my own.
I mounted it to the wall, put it next to the toolbox, I'm good to go. Um, I do need to add a bunch of my rubber mallets, my dead blow hammers and stuff to this toolbox, but they're out in my barn right now. I'll get them later. And you can see the sticker is a little better. Um, this is the sticker that came with my Gibson exhaust. If you watch that video, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Small engine nation, tractor, a couple another small engine nation, Poppy's Corner, Brad's Workbench, David Johnson, Twisted R Racing, aka Stacy Reeves, uh, Scott Pearson, Duke Small Engines, which it's not Duke Small Engines War anymore, it's Duke's World now. Um, under here, I have all of my hangers, no bolts, nuts, um, brackets, screws, and then this one is all automotive style stuff, you know, snap rings, grommets, you know, grease zerks, brackets, you know, you name it. And then my two floor jacks. And then my transmission jack, which I'll eventually put in my barn, but right now I fucked up my knee, so it's too heavy. It weighs about 280 pounds. It's way too heavy for me to attempt to move. But, and then this Husky bag has all my Dremel stuff in it. Got a couple tape measures, but got my Dremels and Dremel accessories and stuff like that. But I hope you like the tool uh, tool cart video. Pick up the tray. It's got a tray down here. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.